Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, my loves, and in particular, hello, Paul, who will be watching this back. Uh, note to self. So years ago, when I used to keep written journals, which I did quite a lot, I've still got them all upstairs. Um, <clears throat> before I wrote my day's entry, I would read the day before again, and sometimes the day before that. And it was a really good way of um, catching myself out with repeated behaviours or misbehaviours or um, excuses uh, for things. And of course I don't keep a written journal necessarily anymore because da -da, YouTube exists and we have a channel that, that is worth um, utilising. And so, uh, this is a mixed bag vlog. It is not to self. Um, very quick physical health update. Today as I record this is Tuesday. I'm probably going to be uploading it to the interwebs on Wednesday. Um, last Thursday, when I got back from London, um, I had my uh, second x-ray so there's no I haven't heard anything from that yet uh, and I'm still waiting on the dermatology appointment so that's that but let's talk about this shall we because for literally for the last five years almost um almost completely five years um, for the last five years sorry 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 I'm trying to formulate what I'm uh, what I want to say in my head because I have to take a lot of ownership ownership is a very important thing you cannot change what you don't acknowledge and even though I have had, in large part, emotional baggage wise, emotionally speaking, a terrible five years. Um, there's also been a lot of good in that, so it's the, this is not a pity story. This is an acknowledgement of things that have occurred that started around five years ago with uh, being kicked off the TV show um, if you the the final episode that I was actually kicked off for which I was strangely talking about uh, vigils with Manchester Pig Save makes you wonder who made the call to off call anyway the final episode is there should you want to see it so that happened in the October of 2016. Then in the November of 2016, Jason and I are victims in this horrific armed robbery, which changed us both. And uh, yeah, then a year and a half of um, anxiety and panic attacks and, and flashbacks even, and uh, fear of loud men and and um, culminating in uh, some uh, CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, which is basically talking, which is what I do now on YouTube. Uh, and I only had four sessions and I was, because I was very active in it, because I kind of got it straight away, like, oh, okay. It, you know what I mean? I was very active in the process. All I needed four sessions and I was like, right, I've got this now. I know how to deal with the trauma of that incident. 
Then I get to the job, then I get some further dismissed from the job. Then I wait two and a half years for four days of uh, an employment tribunal over video, which I'm still waiting for the results of. So that's the last five years. But mixed in with that is this channel the vegan queens, the vegan queens are almost exactly f uh, five years old uh, this month, uh, last month it will be when this goes up, August, um, when they were, uh, when I'd, we did the um, Manchester, Manchester Pride special on the TV show that I was hosting at the time, in drag. And then after it, I was like, should we do a double act? I might bring Gemini back, because I weren't doing Gemini at the time, I hadn't done for a while. Anyway, so the last five years happens, right? And then, and then COVID comes along. Now, this, this COVID thing is still playing on my mind a lot. It has to be said, I have to be really honest there. Still really playing on my mind. It's playing on my mind because everyone's gone back to complete normal festivals and campouts and prides and uh, music festivals, Reading and Leeds and VCO and Manchester Pride um, and all these things where people are mass gathering and then the schools are about to reopen and I'm like, this ain't good. This ain't good. And then part of me is like, am I just being alarmist? Am I like, too concerned about this and it is time to just get back to life now and if you get it whatever but then it's like no it's not just about me it's not just about how I feel about it and that's part of the problem people are a lot of people are only thinking about themselves and they're not thinking about hang on I'm gonna go there on Saturday and then I've got to go and work on Monday am I gonna take a test or anything and so it perpetuates so what there's all that as well however for the last year and a half no, no, oh no, it is, yeah, 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 it's more than a year and a half. Last year, in 2020, we started this little vlog series, Health Journey. We both started using the uh, exercise bike and we were eating healthier and cut down wine, and all this went on. And then, as it gets nearer to the employment tribunal, and just because of what I'm, what, I can only really own is laziness because even though there's all this stuff going on up here and still major health concerns at the moment, are they really an excuse? What good does sitting on the sofa, moving between the computer and the sofa, uploading, answering comments, blah, 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 blah. what good does that do me? And then I'm like, yeah, but you tried going out for a walk a couple of months ago and there was, it, it turned out you were in a quite a tricky situation. You were going to stream it live, do you remember? Is that a good, a fair enough excuse? So don't walk that way then. Walk the other way. What I'm trying to own about myself is that I am addicted to the comfort trap. The comfort trap is my own home here, which has been my sacred space, my solace, my sanctuary. Throughout all of this stuff, this has been my place to <clears throat> not cut the world out because I don't, far from it. I keep myself very connected, which in and of itself is possibly a part of why I feel like I do all the, all the time, because uh, because um, see, I'm I, I don't believe that there is such a thing as too connected. 
think there might be a middle ground and I'm possibly a bit beyond that but I don't think there's such a thing as too connected I think it's absolutely crucial that we pay attention to what's going on in the world in our name you know to that we keep aware of what's going on with Covid, COVID which is still ravaging America and I'm very scared that it's going to be exactly the same in this country but still yeah all right you had a shit five years yeah all right the world's pretty shit at the moment and no Paul don't feel like you're being overly cautious because you're not you're being aware you've still gone out and done pride shows you've got another one booked in but everything feels magnified at the moment everything feels like every friendship every working relationship everything feels like it needs constant observation regular analysis <laughs> and yeah do you like my new blouse by the way you know my orange one well it's the same brand but of course this is a this is the blue grey one I love it I love it probably should have started wearing it when warm wet weather were here about five weeks ago but still you know so I'm overweight and I'm not happy about it. But I keep eating. No one can change that but me. I don't do enough physically and I give myself feeble excuses for why I'm not doing that. Nobody can change that but me. What I find doesn't necessarily help me is promising that I will vlog my journey because it needs to be mine or I will if and when when and if I start to change things can't it change what you don't acknowledge this is my acknowledgement um, of course I'll talk about it I'm just not promising to um, fully do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, don't you? Because it has to be for me. Sometimes you have to be selfish. Because in that selfishness, in putting yourself first, making sure that you're putting yourself first, you can then be the best you, which is what the people around you love and want the most. So it's a win-win, you know. So yeah, I, I've been, I, and I kind of alluded to it on, um, I think it was on live recently, was, was it? It wasn't Sunday's live, was it? It was, um, a recent chat, one me and Jason did, I think. Um, or it might have been Sunday, I don't know. I did, I said I'm going to say the words um, because uh, uh, another part of me has been uh, uh, and I'm terrified of this I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie about it I'm, you know uh, but there's another part of my brain that is already saying once conclusion you've got cancer what's the point and I don't mean that defeatist I mean that like what's the point in getting on the exercise but, but the, exactly this is me acknowledging that that is a feeble excuse because even if it turns out I've got a two month to live hypothetic dramatism 
I'd rather feel good and as healthy as possible. So, but you know, I think we all use these excuses, don't we? Which is why I wanted to, I thought, even if, because every time I do a kitchen vlog like this, one of you lovely people out there connects with something I've said and take something positive from it, then I can't ignore that fact because I would be a, not a nice person if I, if I ignored that fact. If in helping me, one or a few of you gets helped, can acknowledge and own things about yourself and start to change them, then it's all good in it. So I try not to beat myself up too much because asking yourself questions, analysing the relationships around you, analysing yourself in particular, owning and acknowledging the excuses that you use is the only way you can make change. It's the only way. And here we are. Hello, Paul. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I think this is my first step in, I can never put all of that, insert last five years, I can never put all of that in, in, in a box and forget about it. Because it's always there, all of it. And I left lots of things out, by the way, in that there were a lot of other things throughout that kind of uh, five year period. But that's mine to own. It's, it's, it's nobody, it's like, um, all right, so this all happened and you're still here. Um, so, So be here, I suppose is the thing, isn't it? Be here, be present, be in the moment. That's what it boils down to, doesn't it? It's mindfulness, it's, but it's, it's staying mindful. It's not allowing myself to slip back into that. Oh, what's the point? Probably this, probably that. That happened to you. You'd... Nowhere to go because of COVID. Do you know what I mean? It's excuses after excuses. It's, it's, I am still going out there. I need to walk a bit more. I need to uh, do a bit more. And I'm happy for the pace of this to be uh, very gentle because if I go from, uh, you know, uh, A to Z in seconds, um, that doesn't help me, just checking on the time, at all, really, I'm much better being gentle with myself. So this is one of two vlogs I'm planning to make, I think the other one will help me as well. This is my, let's talk about, but there's also a sorting out the kitchen cupboard vlog coming soon. I don't know when that's going to be, but it is going to be soon because I think that will help. I think if we choose little things like that to do, I'm going to organise this cupboard. That, because we are sorting and compartmentalising and arranging, that has an effect, I think. Because uh, this is exactly the same. The, this is full of, this is full of wisps of um, excuses and uh, placating and enabling myself. It's full of doubts and concerns and analysis and um, 
you know, about myself and other people. It's full of wisps of the world we live in and, uh, you know, Afghan and the wildfires and the floods and Ida and this country and the festivals and the, the and COVID. It's full of all, <clears throat> all of that. <clears throat> and genuine kind of concerns about myself as well. Although, here's a random one for you. My, if any of my thoughts <clears throat> have led to kind of, if this is something serious and blah, 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 my main concern has been Jason. I've been thinking about how to, um, if we get to that point, how to make sure that he knows how to access everything online and transfer funds when needed and all that kind of thing without writing it down. Uh, yeah, he's been my main concern. Still is, really. Uh, but that's, that can be another thing for me to use as a, never mind yourself, no mind yourself, Paul. Uh, you have to, love. You've, um, number one, L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Totally worth it. And uh, number two, you can't give the best to yourself to others if you're not giving the best to yourself. You used to tell people that when you were a health trainer in the NHS, do you remember? Probably need to say it to yourself now and again as well. And you out there, you've got to put yourself first too. It's very important. You cannot give the best of yourself to others if you are not giving the best of yourself to yourself. I say it at the end of every video. What we have to do, and that's what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to be excellent to myself. By owning and acknowledging and by remembering some of the things, you know, there are a lot of things that are very important to me that I need to think about more. The wolf I feed, the legacy I leave, the legacy I'm going to leave. Not being afraid to sight and live by when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Although I think we all have a level that we can do that really easily. There is a level when we love people very much. Um, there's a compromise there, isn't there? Because I think there has to be. I think we all do that as well. And as long as we're not doing it with, you know, people who are criminals or hurt other people or steal from other people or that kind of thing, then it's, that's all good if it's just something that personally bothers you. Compromise away, Beryl. No one's going to judge you for it. Uh, so, Paul, love. Um, 52 now, kid. Like every other human being on earth right now, you have no idea how long you've got left. Make the most of it. Like really make the most of it. Don't be afraid to cut people out of your life. Don't be afraid, afraid to bring people into your life just as important. Treat yourself better. Be more aware, own your faults and deal with them. And stop using past trauma as excuses for not doing the best for you now. Do the best for you now because I love you and lots of other people love you too and you're worth it. So, 
Sort it out, mate. I've got your back. Please have mine. Right, uh, I'm going to bring this to a, a close there. I think I've said all I needed to say. It will certainly help me watching it back and I really do genuinely hope that some of you out there <clears throat> get something from it too. Note to self. Hope you read it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, be excellent to yourself and each other. Bye loves, bye Paul. <laughs>